guess this is it. <laughs> We're about to get on a night bus from Chitral to Peshawar, a journey of about 10 hours. Peshawar is a city near to the border with Afghanistan and is one of the oldest cities in South Asia, with a history dating back more than two millennia. I hope there's not going to be an issue with the, the NOC, so we can actually stay wherever we want to and not get sent away on a bus to Islamabad. Okay, hold on. For the ones that don't know, an NOC, or No Objection Certificate, is essentially a permit issued by the government for when individuals want to visit specific areas that might be restricted due to security concerns. They're typically implemented in regions near border areas or military zones. Yeah, we read in this group chat that some people um, saying that they needed an NOC to be able to go to Peshawar and apparently also we can only stay in certain hotels as foreigners. Like they don't accept foreigners in every hotel. So yeah, I guess. Hopefully that's not true. Hopefully that's not true. This is uh, surprisingly comfortable. Yeah. I think this is one of the most fancy buses or ways of transport really. For a long time. Maybe. For a long time. <laughs> Just hopefully sleep through the night. <laughs> well, well, that might be wishful. <laughs> A minute, but yeah, we're making progress. Just a few more hours to go, and then we're in Peshawar. So we're on the middle of the highway. We just had to change buses because apparently that bus wasn't going to Peshawar, it was going to Islamabad. We're in a different bus. And it's uh, not as many people going to Peshawar, apparently. Also, it's like 4 o'clock night. I'm tired. And I hope we'll be in Peshawar. At this point, we were just hoping that the recommended hotel, supposedly one of the only ones accepting foreigners, wouldn't turn us away. Luckily, everything seemed to be going all right. Mm, not bad. A real bed. We woke up not too, too long ago, had a bit of sleep in after that bus ride, and now it's time to head out. Back to city life. First impression, lots of stairs. Um, it's not as chaotic as Lahore, I would say. The first mission of today was to find food, so we headed out in search of a nice restaurant. Hello! Hello! Good, how are you? Yeah, we're attracting quite a bit of attention here, but everybody seems to be very happy and friendly. Hmm, this looks like a good breakfast place. Oh, this looks like me. Okay, so that didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> only meat, which is a very frequent problem here and since I'm vegetarian, that's not a dish. Yeah, it hasn't been the easiest finding food here. I was hoping it would be easier in Peshawar, more options, but it seems to be a very neat focus. Okay. <laughs> 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 Run and hope 
same street for five times like what are those idiots doing? So this seems to be a little bit of a failing mission um, we really can't find any restaurant here basically that has vegetarian food so we're going back to the hotel and I guess they have a restaurant here thank you and we'll just uh, have some <laughs> what is this position? <laughs> You have to sit like a true Pakistani, come on. Okay, they haven't stretched for like a month. <laughs> well, bellies are filled and it's time to head out again. Oh my, it's got really great. Great and cloudy. So, to do list get a sim card and survive. That's it! Since different areas in Pakistan have different SIM card providers, ours didn't work anymore as soon as we left Gilgit Baltistan. Apparently though, as foreigners, you can only get new ones in the big cities. So now that we were finally in Peshawar, we went on a mission for connectivity. But as travel stories go, this mission had its twists. Exactly the Peshawar I had in mind. There it is. But when we finally got there, it turned out we could only get SIM cards at a certain location in Peshawar. Well, I guess we have to go to the main office, but there we should be able to finally get a SIM card. The only thing is, head office is like uh, 20 minutes right away, so we don't have to get a ticket. As we struggled getting a tuk-tuk, the local shopkeepers came out to help us. It showed us that even in the pouring rain, the kindness of the Pakistani people prevails. the plot thickened and when we got there the main office was nowhere in sight so i guess it's not here it's not here they have changed their office <laughs> changed location and now it's like you told us it was like one k down the road yeah. luckily we again made a new friend who besides trying to get us to take his freshly bought brownies insisted on walking us to the main office himself this uh it's stop raining Ah, there it is. Is this the moment that we're gonna get our SIM cards? Yeah. Maybe we're gonna need to go to a fourth and a fifth and a sixth office. Yeah. Or it's closed. Yeah. It looks kind of close. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a. Uh, uh, holiday. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 it's a bad birthday. That's okay. Yeah. It happens. We try tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, this, uh, this doesn't surprise me. Even the simple things here always prove to be some sort of a challenge. Like something as simple as getting a SIM card is never really that simple. <laughs> So the guy just told us there is apparently like a like a metro or something that we can take back to, uh, to the place. So uh, we were like, yeah, why, not, why not try it, you know? We've done the tuk-tuk, we've done hitchhiking, we've done minivans and buses and everything except metro. So naturally we're <laughs> please, please, let us. And while we were waiting for the metro bus, we finally caved. Caving does? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's good, I, I can have one, 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 one. 
<laughs> it's okay, thank you. Try it. Try it. Okay. <laughs> That's really great. <laughs> oh, yeah. The metro had a women-only section, so I had to go in separate from Oscar and her new friend. And yeah, it was a bit crowded to say the least. Thank you so much for all your help. Thank you so much. Four hours later, no SIM card, but a few experiences. After finally getting our SIM cards the next morning, getting a SIM card! and making a quick stop at the bakery with the delicious brownies, I decided to go on a little solo mission today. So, I'm in the hotel right now. I'm about to head out. I decided that I wanted to do a little solo adventure here just to see what it's like to travel here as a solo female traveler. I started out traveling by myself. I've been traveling by myself for over a year at this point. Right now I'm traveling with Oscar, but I'm still very curious what it's like to yeah, to experience the city by myself and to see if it's any different than um, the experiences I had in Hansa and uh, Lahore. And obviously it's a, an, again a very distinct part of Pakistan. So I'm kind of curious what it's like to be be a female here, like be a solo female traveler here. So yeah, the goal of today is to experience that and to see what it's like. So yeah, let's let's do it. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Some of the friends. It's also just quite a, a beautiful city. Like there's some really nice architecture and like even just this street right here is it's quite nice. How are you? Good, how are you? You in country? I have to say, I don't feel unsafe at all, but I'm also not the most comfortable right now. I think it's just because of all the attention and yeah, it's, it's quite a lot. It's a little bit overwhelming to be honest. So I'm in a tuk tuk bag right now. I want to film the true experience. It just got a little bit too much, to be honest. Um, again, it's not the people, everybody's super friendly. It's just me that can really handle all the, all the stares and the looks. And, and I really feel like the difference when I'm alone, for instance, when I'm walking around with Oscar. I, I think it's partly the fact that when you're with two of these, you can kind of share the stairs, you know, and you can share the attention. Whereas when you're alone, it's, you get all of that yourself. Um, this place is so interesting. It's really, it's like, a, it's a fascinating place, and the people are really quiet. I really do feel like they deserve the tourism and the fact that I can't handle the, the stairs should reflect on this place. <laughs> it's enough for now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm heading back to the hotel. Great, thank you so much. 
I want to make clear that I do get the interest of people, as they probably don't see a lot of foreigners roaming around, especially not while filming themselves. I also recognize that it's kind of my own fault for not wearing my hijab, since this is a more conservative place, and I know I could have prevented some stares with that. I would encourage every traveler, regardless of gender, to come to Peshawar, as it's a fascinating place with the friendliest people. However, next time, I would probably book a guide or someone to show me around the city instead of venturing out myself for that extra sense of comfort and also just to get to see and know more about the city. While not all the missions may have worked out, it didn't overshadow the amazing time I had in Peshawar. Because it's not always about the success, right? It's the unexpected adventures that make the journey memorable. And Peshawar delivered. Peshawar, thank you for having me. It was a pleasure and I can't wait to come back.